In our Jorgensen land and cattle case study, some folks may say, well, that may work for the Jorgensons, but will it work for me? Many may also see soil health as idealistic, but ultimately one that is in conflict with farm economics. Is this really so? And maybe these doubts stem from a view that soils are what they are, and they really don't change under management. As stated, the Jorgensen's model is to imitate the native prairie as much as possible. And at the heart of this strategy lies the understanding that we can build or change our soils over time. Have the Jorgensen's been able to build their soil? Let's see if Nick can provide us with some convincing evidence. One thing we've done phenomenally well that plays a lot into the success that we're seeing, and I think you'd agree with me, is we've built organic matter over the years. And that is a huge tool for us um, in the soil. And, we, and like he says, we're trying to get towards a native prey system where, you know, you're seeing organic matter levels of 5% or higher. Yep. And we've actually, we've reached that on a fair amount of our crop count. And over the several years, we've trended up. I mean, since, since probably since I, we don't have data going back to when we started yep. no-tilling, but even over the last 15, we've seen our organic matter levels trend up, yep. um, which it, it, it really has, is pivotal to that system. Uh, you know, Dad likes to say well, on a pound or a percent of organic matter gets you somewhere between twi 25 and 50 pounds of nitrogen available to the plant. So just think about what a three and a half or four and a half percent organic matter level in your soil does. That's that's somewhere between 80 and 120 pounds of, of nitrogen there that you don't have to buy or apply. It's there, and the plant can access it. So it, you want to talk about soil health? It's great, but economically. It's great too, you know, the two things are often different, but you can compare them differently, but right there, they are, that is perfect. They're completely symbiotic. Soil building begins with no-till, but must include other soil building tools like diverse rotations, cover crops, and where possible, livestock incorporation. And so, while the details of each operation may vary in terms of how the tools are used, the principles of soil building or soil health are universal, regardless of where you farm. If you want to find out more, feel free to go back and check the videos on this playlist. We have a resource of over 30 videos with farmers and researchers covering the issues of no-till. These subjects include residue, water infiltration and movement in soils, weeds, soil temperature, and economics. And with that, we've come to the end of our initial marital myth journey. But stay tuned because we'll be back with Meritor Myth taking an even deeper look into the roles of soil health and regenerative agriculture in the Mount Rushmore state. We look forward to this new challenge and we will see you on the other side.